The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Thirteenth chapter, text number eight through twelve. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on October third, nineteen seventy three, in Bombay, India. Krishna, the Supreme Authority, Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is speaking the process of acquiring knowledge. <coughs> Jnanam. So, the first beginning of knowledge is humility. See, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught Tinadupi Sunichena Tarorupi Sahishnana. Amanina manadena kirtaniya sadahi. Anyone, this humbleness and humility is taught everywhere. Uh, without being gentle, humble, uh, how one can be a man of knowledge? Uh, <coughs> but at the present moment, uh, the humility is forgotten. Everyone is proud, unnecessary. Although he is nothing, he is proud. So much so that sometimes a rascal says that I am God. This is the modern thing. <coughs> he is so puffed up, so proud that one claims to become God. What to speak of other things? No. The first thing is that uh, one must be very humble. This is the process of Vedic civilization. Vidya, Vinaya, Sampanna, Brahman. One has to become Brahmana. Brahmana means Vidya, Vinaya, Sampanna. He must be learned and humble. That is Brahman. Vidyavinaya sampanna brahmane gavihabhu. That is the first class life. Vidyavinaya sampanna brahman. Why Brahman is honored in the society? Because Brahman means Vidyavinaya sampanna and very humble. Vidya Vinaya Sampana. Vidya means Vidya Dadati Namrata. Vidya means he must be very gentle, Namra. That is Vidya. Education does not mean unnecessarily to become proud. Just like we hear that even a great scientist, Sir Isaac Newton, he used to say that what knowledge I have got. <coughs> I had simply collected in few grains sand from the big beach. Yes, that is humble. Ah. So Krishna says that in the process of acquiring knowledge, one must be very humble and mean. This is the first quality. This is Satogo. But those who are situated in the Rajagun and Tamagun, they cannot become humble. That is not possible. Passion and ignorance. So one has to, knowledge means one has come to, one has to come to the platform of goodness, Satagun, the Brahminical qualification. Samadama titikha arjavam. Jnanam vidyanam asrikam brahma karma svavaja. Everything is there in the Bhagavad Gita. The qualification. These are the qualification of Brahman. These are the qualification of Kshatriya. These are the qualification of Vaishyas. These are the qualification of Sudras. Sudras one qualification. What is that? Pari chajyatmakam sudra karma svavaja. A sudra means he will be satisfied 
if he gets one good master, that's all. No other qualities. So at the present moment, a person may be a great technologist, highly educated, but he does not get, if he does not get a good master, good employer, he is nothing. Ah. He has no value. But he has no independence. He has to accept some service. But a brāhmaṇa will never accept anyone's service. No. It is stated that in the śāstra that if there is bad time for a brāhmaṇa, he may accept the profession of a kṣatriya or even up to vaiśya, but never the profession of a śūdra which is dog's business. These are the statements in this house. <coughs> so, this platform of knowledge, Vidyavina is company, Brahman. One has to become Brahman. Oh. Then one becomes humble, meek, and other qualification follows. Oh. <coughs> the the material conception of life makes us very eager to receive honor from others. Uh, that is material education. Rajasthama. Rajasthama. What are the symptoms of defined modes of material nature? Satagon, Rajagon, Tamagon. Uh, Satagon, goodness. One is satisfied. Uh, and eager to advance in spiritual knowledge. That is Sattva. Brahman is called. Sattva, Sama, Dhamma, Titikha. Titikha, one has to learn Titikha. Just like here, the even they are foreigners, how much tribulation they have to suffer on account of this temple. These foreigners, they have come here to become devotee, and the authorities are prepared to uh, and demolish their temple. So one has to tolerate. What can we do? <coughs> Even Prahlad Maharaj, uh, he was the son of Hiranya Kushiku. The relationship was father and son. But because the son was a devotee, the father was prepared to kill him. Oh. <clears throat> this is the uh, system all over the world. Jesus Christ, because he was preaching God consciousness, he was crucified. Oh. <clears throat> Although Jesus Christ preached, thou shalt not kill. Oh. Unfortunately, he was preaching in such a society that he was king. So these things are there always. The demons, they are always after the devotees. How to harass him? How to give him trouble? Therefore, one has to learn humility. Otherwise, one cannot make progress in Krishna consciousness. Dava Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has advised Pinadupi Sunitena, Taroropi Sahishnana, Omanina Manadena, Kirtaniya Sadahari. If you want to make progress in the matter of chanting the holy name of the Lord, then you have to learn also toleration. So many people will criticize. So many people will be prepared to unnecessarily put hindrances in your path. So one has to learn. If one is serious to make progress in knowledge, actual knowledge is to understand God. That is actual knowledge. Therefore it is called Vedanta. Vedanta. Veda means knowledge. And Anta means the ultimate. The ultimate knowledge is to know Krishna. 
वेदैश्च सर्वै अहमेव वेद्यम एवरीवन देयर इज देयर इज अ क्लास ऑफ मैन दे से दैट वी ओनली बिलीव इन द वेदास व्हाट व्हाट यू बिलीव डू यू नो कृष्णा एंड ऑल्सो Oh, you know, you accept Krishna uh, as a big man. That's all, not as God. That means he does not understand what is Krishna. Uh, so, what is the use of Vedanta? Uh, there are so many so-called Vedantists. They avoid Krishna. <coughs> They write comments on Bhagavad Gita. Avoid Krishna. Uh, this is going on. Uh, this is going on. The actual knowledge means to come to the point of knowledge. One has to acquire these qualifications. But if one at, uh, at one stage to Krishna consciousness, as it is stated, months of very chat, what is that? Mohi cha ananda jogi na. भक्ति ऑफ बैरिचारिंग भक्ति ऑफ बैरिचारिणी बैरिचारिणी मीन्स मिक्स विथ आर आर थिंग्स देर आर कॉर्म ज्ञान योग एंड भक्ति सो देर आर एवरीथिंग मस्ट बी विथ भक्ति अदरवाइज देर इज नो सक्सेस इवन इफ यू आर ए कर्मी यू मस्ट एड भक्ति देन यू बी सक्सेस जत परोसी जत जुहोसी जदासनसी कुरुष सब मदद पनम दिस इज भक्ति जो कर्म जो यू मे बी ए बिजनेस मैन यू मे बी इंजीनियर यू मे बी वॉट एवर यू मैन इट डज मैन बट भक्ति मास्ट वी आर एड देन यू आर सक्सेस इफ यू आर डिवॉर्ड ऑफ भक्ति देन इट इज यूजलेस वो इज नॉट कैन That is the body of the shastra. Shastra says, "Atapum vi vijas shrestha." This was spoken by Sri Sutta Goswami in the assembly of great brahmins and saintly persons who have uh, meeting big congress for one thousand years. Now we hold meeting for eight days or say, at most fifteen days, not more than that, but. Formerly they used to hold meetings, spiritual meeting, for one thousand years. Ah, Nayanisharan, that Nayanisharan is still existing near Lucknow. Most of you may know. So there is a meeting, <coughs> but to be continued for one thousand years. And in that meeting, Shuto Goswami was presiding, and he said, ah, he addressed. All the Brahmins and without uh, spiritual meeting were great, were generally attended by uh, highly educated Brahmins and saintly persons. Some of the Chhatriyas also, the Vaishyas and Shudras, they are not interested. So therefore, Sutta Goswami specially addressed the learned Brahmins. Atapun vi vijas sreshta. Oh. The best of the Brahmins who are present here. Atapum bi dijasthesta varnasma vibhavas. The society was in those days varnan ashrama. Varna uh, means the four uh, divisions of the society: Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, and Shudra. Chatur varna ka maya system guna karma vibhavas. Similarly, brahmachari, grihastha, banaprastha, and so on. Uh, this is Vedic culture. Varnasma uh, vibhaga. So, Sutta Goswami said that everyone has got his particular duty. Varnasma. Ata pumbi vijasastha varnasma vibhaga. Sanusthitasya dharmasya. Uh, everyone has got duty, but some should be horitosana. Uh, nobody is concerned whether I am doing something, I am engaged in certain occupation, whether I am getting perfection. 
because human life is made for attaining perfection. And what is that perfection? That also you do not know. The perfection is to get out of this repetition of birth, death, old age, and disease. There is perfection. Nobody is serious. They are dying like cats and dogs. Never mind. Nobody thinks that my perfection of life, the cats and dogs are dying. But I will also die. Then why shall I die like cats and dogs? I must know why death is there. I do not want death. Why death is That is humanity. Who wants to die? Nobody wants to die. Uh, and actually, in modern science, they are trying to combat all the material obstacles. But here is the main obstacle that nobody wants to die, but there is death. So, where is the scientific solution of death? Uh, who can say? Where is the scientist who can say? No, no more, there will be death. No more, there will be disease. No more, there will be old age. Janma Mittu Janabhadi, that is stated here. This is knowledge. Janma Mittu Janabhadi Dukha Dusha Anudarsana. One should, where everyone is trying his best to mitigate this test condition of life. Atam Tik Dukha Nidvitti. Everyone is trying. I am in miserable condition. Uh, if I get so much money, my miserable condition will be mitigated. So everyone is after money. But that mitigation is temporary. Suppose if you get some money, you get a nice apartment, uh, a nice bank balance. Does it mean that you have, you have ended your main problems of life? Janma Mitra, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma Mitra Jarabhya Dhidukha Dhusana Darsana. So they are not, they have become so foolish, so degraded, that they do not know what is the meaning of life, what is the problem of life, how to make solution of the problem. Nobody is interested. Simply cats and dogs, that's all. As a cat and dog is working very hard, simply for eating, sleeping, and waking. That's all. The human life is not meant for that purpose. This is the defect of modern civilization. Nayam deho deho bhajang niloki kastan kaman arhati birbhujang ji. Birbhujang. The hog who eats too, he is also striving for the same thing. What is that? Eating, sleeping, waking. Uh, and defending, that's all. So is that human life is also simply meant for this purpose? No. Human life is meant for tapodidvam, jena suddheta satya. You have to purify your existence. Uh, what in my existence is now impure. In the Bhagavad Gita we learn, na jayate na amyate. The living entity, the soul, never takes birth, never dies, but I am subject to birth and death. So this problem doesn't come. They are simply making adjustment, a temporary problem. That is not human civilization. Vedic civilization means to solve the major problems of life. That is Vedic civilization. They don't care for these troubles. Formerly people were very happy. So far material conditions were concerned. They had no complaint. Everyone is happy. Everyone is getting ample food. And why they shall not get? We eat the birds, bees, they are getting their ample food. Even after that. Uh, there is no complaint amongst the birds and beasts uh, unless one is in the human society. Hmm? Otherwise in the jungle there are major portion of the animals and birds. They have no complaint. They do not come in the city that we have this complaint. Uh, they are happy. 
They are getting ample food. Uh, life is very happy. They, they have got their uh, eating, they have got their sleeping, they have got their mates for sex life, and they know how to defend. Everything is there. There is no problem. Uh, the only in the human society they have created problems because they have no knowledge. Uh, the so-called knowledge uh, is useless unless you cannot solve the problem. What is the meaning of this knowledge? Uh, therefore Krishna says, knowledge means one must know this is my real acute, a miserable condition of life. Jarma mittu jaravyadhi dukkhudu sāmadarsana. This is knowledge. <coughs> so, to begin with knowledge, Krishna recommends kamanittam humility. Because the real disease of material life is that he is not humble, he is always proud. Little possession. Sarpa jalamatre na safari farparat. Just like the big fish in the ocean, uh, they are deep within the world. And if you find out a small lake, uh, a little water, you will find a small fish, a farfar, farfar can be. So there is no depth of knowledge. Uh, simply that perplex, that uh, part. Uh, this education should be given, how to become uh, humble. Shishyas deham sadhimam prapannam tad vidhi pranipatena pariprasnena sivaya. Pariprasnena sivaya. One has to learn by service, by pranipat. Pranipat means surrender. Uh, there is no surrender. Nobody is prepared to surrender. Uh, why should I surrender? I know everything. Part uh, of unnecessary. Uh, therefore, Krishna says the material disease is uh, that rajastamo bhava. Tada rajastamo bhava kamulubha dayastas. Rajastamo bhava means rajagon, calm and low, uh, ignorance. Then everyone is thinking, if I become greedy, I shall get more. Yeah. And that is not possible. You cannot get a farthing more than you, what you are destined. But it is ignorance. He is thinking, by simply struggling hard, I will get more. The Shastra says, no, don't do it. So far your material condition is concerned. It is already destined with your body. You have got a certain type of body. And according to that body, you will get certain amount of pleasure and pains. That is already destined. Uh, this is called adrishta uh, or brahiva. Uh, your main business is, if you want to make success your life, then save time for advancing in Krishna consciousness. That is proper utilization of life. Uh, that is, that does not depend on destiny. That you can do. So the Krishna consciousness movement is the only challenge to this devilish life of the human society. So I request everyone to study this philosophy very uh, carefully and take advantage of it. Thank you very much.